Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, we are back together and I am always so excited and pumped up to be here with every single one of you. I hope you all have had the most amazing day since I saw you last on Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul. We are back and at it and I have some great things that I cannot wait to continue to share with you today and so let's get right into it. I found this two pack of paper towels that I've never seen before at the Dollar Tree and my mom absolutely loves paper towels so I grabbed her some. This is the Signature brand and Signature Select. I know I've seen that brand somewhere. I just can't think of it at the moment. This is the Thirsty brand paper towels with absorbent technology and there's two rolls in here and there are 72 ply sheets per roll. So that is what it says and I'm really really happy to have found this so I picked up three packages for my mom so I absolutely love that think it's wonderful and wonderful and fantastic and then I grabbed myself my favorite trash bags this is the good sense with the flap ties there's 12 in here and this one is the spring scent I love the trash bags that have a nice scent to it it says two bags are free in there actually when I used to get the package they had 14 in there for a little while when they used to come out with the 14 and now for a while it's been coming out with the 12 but they have a lemon scent also and the those are my favorite trash bags because why would I pay a lot of money for trash bags when they're just going to go in the trash? Those work perfectly well for me. I don't overfill them and they do the job. So then here, and I already opened this to organize all of my little crafts and Halloween doodads so that I could make those spooky mystery boxes that I hauled all the stuff for on Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul. These bags are really good. This is the Sharfresh brand and there's 10 bags in here and this one is the freezer bags. So I love those with the Ziploc. Works great. And then one more thing, the aluminum foil with the 40 square feet in it that I always pick up. So that is what I got for just like my household stuff. Now let's get into some fun hair accessories because I hit the hair jackpot. I am so happy. The holidays, everything, plus myself and my obsession with my headbands and my collection is growing. Wait until you see what I found. Now this right here went for 12 dollars 12 dollars i've never seen this before it says gift a good hair day on the tag and it leaves a little tag that says a to and from that you can put and then on the back it shows the 12 dollar price stat tag i can't even believe it i was so excited when i found this and this is called pamper pouch it has bobby pins in there really cool and not bobby pins are those like um I think that those are fancy. You can just like swoosh up your hair and put some cute little pins on the side. Those are cute. They have a wave to them. My little swirly coil um, bands for your hair. And then also these little tiny clips. And they're a really pretty like rose gold color. So I can't believe that this was originally $12. And it comes in this great little pouch right here that has like a zipper on it so that you can use the bag after. So I picked up a couple of these for Christmas gifting and I I was just so, so thrilled when I got that. Now we are about to hit the headband pile that I have never hauled all at once before. This many headbands at one store, but they really, really helped me out for holiday gifting and also personally for myself. This is so cute with the smiley faces. This is an off white color. It is that foamy feeling to it. I love, love, love the off white with the smiley faces. This is just a really fun, fabulous headband. So I picked that one up. Then I grabbed my rainbow, my rainbow themed top knot headbands. And this is like a really soft material on this band. It's just, it's so pretty. It's so pretty and it's so me more than anything because you know your bright and colorful friend needs as much 
vibrant uh, rainbowish colors in her life as possible. And then here is this one that has a little bit of a darker tone to the stripes on it. Again, my beautiful top knot. So I absolutely love that. Then I got these and these are super cute for the fall. Like I can picture myself wearing this on Thanksgiving, even though this year your girl is taking a break. I'm going to have the holidays, but I'm really not going to do anything. I'm going to wake up and wear my onesie pajamas and I'm probably going to order out because I feel like it. <laughs> so this will be the first year that I can wear my headband with my onesie. I really think the pleating in it is very beautiful. I love the shades that they incorporated in this. That's a nice, big, pretty top knot. So I picked that one up. Then I grabbed this one that has a beautiful navy blue tone to it. And again, I love the peaches and the blues and the creams together. Really pretty pleating again on this one. So fall headbands are where it is at. Then right here, we have these two beauties, and this is fun for dress up. Like, I can picture this on, like, New Year's Eve or something like that. Christmas for this one. So here is this color. I love that emerald green with the bands all around it, like the chain link look to it. Really attractive. And then this one that has the really light pink around the band. And then the chain link in the gold to accent it. That is a stunning, stunning look. And then we have these two beauties right here. And I thought that these were just so pretty. This is like the metal headband. So these go really nicely to your head and slide on. And you don't have like little hairs bumping up and sliding around. I love the pearl beading to it with the darker beads. And that striped look. So this is the black and white one. Super beautiful. And then this one right here is like a pink. Um, no, maybe it's purple on purple. Maybe I'm colorblind. <laughs> no, this is a purple on purple. So right here you can see the purple little stones. And the purple band all around it. How pretty is that? That's like a magical, magical princess type of headband. And I absolutely love the hair accessories that I found. There were so many scrunchies to choose from, but these two were definitely my favorites. I love these. I love this color with the blue leopard or cheetah print rather. I think it's cheetah, right? And then this is a humongous scrunchie that is so big, so fluffy. The material to it is really cool and it just feels so nice and soft. So a big old bun in my hair with this wrapped around it. I think that that's a gorgeous one. And then right here is just the regular old leopard one. Cheetah print, leopard. Somebody help me out. What are these? You know, I don't know my spots very well, but it has the same feel as the other one. And this is just really, really pretty. Again, a nice big old scrunchie. And I love, I, I can't wait. My hair is getting longer and longer and longer, which I'm super happy about. But I cannot wait to be able to throw it up in that ginormous bun. If you guys have been here with me for a long time, I always used to wear my hair in a messy, crazy, big, huge enormous bun and then I cut my hair off and dyed it purple at the beginning of the year to just kind of be wild and free and now it's about getting a little bit past my shoulder blades so I am gonna let it grow all the way long like I've always had it all my days that I've been alive um I had long long hair since I was a little wee peanut and then sometimes I just have those urges where you just cut it off, but then I always let it grow back. But one of those really cute scrunchies wrapped around it will be super beautiful and pretty. Now, after the headbands here that I just showed you guys with the scrunchies, we have these beautiful, beautiful books. And this is a journal. So right here, this says, he called me beautiful. He called me beautiful one. 
and that is so pretty. I love, love, love the cover of it. I think it's absolutely so pretty with all the vibrant flowers and everything. A cute headband, a nice little journal notebook, and then look at the pages inside, how pretty they are with the etched flowers all throughout the pages. This is a nice thick little notebook. So um, I'm not keeping all of those um, headbands. I did buy some to share for gifting purposes over the holidays, but I can see a really cute headband with a notebook, a cute pen set, and just have a whole little moment of looking cute while you're writing in your journal. <laughs> so there's that. And then I found this beautiful book right here. This is a advanced coloring book and this says um starry skies advanced coloring i i saw the cover of it and i was like yes absolutely i'm getting it and especially where i hauled all of those things that had to do with like the constellations and stuff several months back when i went to pennsylvania on vacation to meet my bff caitlin I hauled a bunch of really cool things to do with astrology and the sky, astronomy, astrology, you know, with the stars and the moon and the universe and all the planets and stuff. And I have some of those things still left over so I can pair this with those and make a cute little gift set with this as well. I will show you some of the pictures inside of this. I absolutely think that they are beautiful. Like this one right here. This one is the moon and the sun all together. As you guys know, a lot of times that I buy these coloring books, I do not color in them. I will just frame the pages and I will use them for decorative purposes when I change the styles of my room. I share them with my craft room on the walls to decorate it. And I think that they are really beautiful beautiful pictures that are provided and these coloring books that come out at the dollar tree and i think it's fantastic so i showed you those three pages but the book is full of beauties and i hope that you guys find it i also found this great big paperback book right here this is a big old thick book it originally went for and let me get the sticker off this book went for $24.99 and it says creating personal mandalas and it has so many instructions inside for you to follow all the guidelines to teach you how to make them for yourself meanings and everything else I think that this book is so fun I would really, really like to sit down and attempt to make some of my own. And so I'm really happy about finding this. But again, a really great gift that you can put together something super cute for the holidays to gift that away in a cute basket with markers and crayons, colored pencils, and some other things that might go along with it really nicely to pair it all for a beautiful presentation from the Dollar Tree. That place really just makes my heart sing. You have no idea. <laughs> so there is that. I found these beautiful glass, well, porcelain little, just in the crafter square section. I don't really know what to say. They're just maybe hanging ornaments, we'll call them. It just says decor on the back, but this one is a beautiful little house. What I'm thinking is that I'm going to try to find the glass markers. They sometimes show up at the Dollar Tree where glass markers come out where you can it shows you that you can draw on like water glasses and mugs and things like that and they are dishwasher stick safe so that it will come out on the glass and not come off while washing I'm hoping to find a whole stash of those at some point so that I can draw on these and then I'm probably going to hang them in my windows with a little suction hook I think that these are really pretty so right here is the house then we also have this beautiful, gorgeous heart. And I love that this is a different type of shaped heart than I've ever seen them come out with. 
So there is that one. I super hope I find those. They usually came out with like a blue, a red. I'm sorry. My, my shirt's driving me crazy. A blue, a red, a gold, a silver. Um, sometimes I have seen a green, a purple. I hope I find all the colors before the holidays because these would actually be really cute for gifting also for somebody. My mom used to draw on things like this all the time, paint them and hang them up or sell them. And I just loved to watch her do it. And then here is the star right here. I really love the star, the house and the um, heart the most. So I picked those up and I'm hoping to be able to craft them before the holidays come up. Now, my goodness, I am so excited to show you this. I found some great new holiday mugs that I just think are so adorable, the new print on them. I have not seen them in years prior, so I really, really enjoy the look of this. This says Home Sweet Gnome on it, and then we have the cute little gnome inside of the car. I love the barn, and I love that they did the beautiful blue background, but then that vibrant red handle that pulls out, you know, the coloring in the gnome, the barn, and the the little saying above. So it does have the look on the back, but hello, look at the coffee in there. How cute is this? Put a couple of Hershey's Kisses, Hershey's Hugs in there. Put the Jim Bean coffee or the Junior's coffee if you can find them. I've found so many other bags of these. So Richie is very well set. This one is the original. The other one that I hauled of the Jim Bean, I think over the weekend, was the Bourbon Vanilla. But this one is the original. So stick that in there. That is a really cute little gift to show somebody that you care. I think it's fancy. Then right here, I picked up this mug. And again, this is another mug that I have yet to see myself. This says, Baking Spirits Bright. And how cute. And then inside of it, I do have another package of the Junior's Coffee that I hauled for you guys over, I think it was Saturday or Monday's haul, I'm pretty sure. But this is Most Famous Brooklyn Blend. Both of these packages were four ounce bags. And this coffee is jazzy. Richie really, really loved it. So I ran back out and I grabbed a ton more. They, they are so well worth the dollar twenty-five because if I was to go to the grocery store just down the street from my house, the market basket, his coffee that he used to pick up before we started getting Dollar Tree brands coffees that come in, um, has gone up to six dollars a jar. And if I got four packages of a four ounce from the Dollar Tree, that's five dollars. And that other coffee has gone up to about six, six and a quarter at the grocery store of what he used to get. So I'm saving money by getting a couple of different packages at a time from the Dollar Tree. And I love that. That makes me really happy. So there is that. Now, I did find some really fantastic, beautiful Halloween window clings, and I do want to show them to you so I can get outside and start decorating my windows. I am so late in the game between my puppy, my husband, my mom, my son, my house, my this, that, and the other thing. I am so far behind in October from getting things done, ready, and positioned right. I'm going to have to take it down before I can even enjoy it, which makes me really sad. So I love this right here. These window clings are just the cutest. This is a totally different one than I've ever seen before. I love her right there. And she is just a doll with her necklace on. And Frankenstein juggling the candy corn is just the cutest ever. Uh, Count Dracula holding the little candelabra. I love it. It is just Every single one of them are so incredibly precious. So I picked that one up. Then I also grabbed this one, which is very girly, fun, and cute. I love it. It's just a bunch of squares on it, but it says really cool things. I love the pinks and that really pretty mint green incorporated. It says spooky, happy, haunting. It says boo right here. It says trick or treat yourself trick or treat yourself. That's so cute. Hocus Pocus. There's a little ghost and it says boo again. 
So I love those so much. I don't only put the window clings on my windows. I actually use them for scrapbooking. I use them to um, put backing on them and add them to some holiday wreaths. If I'm making Halloween wreaths and stuff, and use them for characters throughout that. I've used window clings for so many different reasons. This is a brand new one as well, and I think it's so adorable. I love the witch. She's just so cute with her square jawline. I think that she is just adorable. And so I picked up that beautiful sheet of window clings right there. And then this one I think is really awesome. I love this one with all the spooky potions on it. And it says trick or treat in the middle with the hand coming up as the eye. How adorable. So cute. And then the witch hand down here hold, holding a poison potion bottle. So really adorable clings. I, I'm just still finding this stuff now because it's just coming out on the shelves. Like my stores are still doing the best that they can to get everything out. But it's a struggle because there's not enough employees and there hasn't been for the last couple of years. And I feel sad for them. I, I, I keep teetering on asking my very close store that I frequent the most if I can do one overnight a week just to help them out because I'm friends with all of them. And they make me sad how stressed out they have been like over the last year. So, um, but I really can't put anything else on my plate, even though I want to help people. <laughs> so I kind of teeter and then I'm like, Cal, just go home. <laughs> but I really respect everybody in the workforce and how hard and diligent they're working through these tough times and they're just doing the best they can so let's all always be kind nice positive and patient and that would be really important so other than those beautiful window clings I found some Coco characters in the toy section and even though Coco was there I didn't get Coco because I already have a Coco from a Disney um, McDonald's toy. But I did find this beautiful character right here and where I am doing skulls and skeletons and sugar skulls for Halloween decorating. I did want to grab this Pixar character from the movie Coco to put him up in my house somewhere. I just think he's really cute. And then he will go in my Disney box for me to keep forever until I get to display someday all of my treasures that I've collected over time from Disney. So there is that. Now, I am so happy that I found this. I found the oatmeal, the almond oatmeal or oatmeal almond one from the Yardley brand of the hand soap. And now I have found the English lavender. This pump right here, it's a little bit dented, but it was the only one on the shelf. So I did not care. This is a plastic, you know, really flimsy feeling plastic bottle, but this is the Yardley London brand. And uh, I'm telling you, find it, give it a little sniffer, and you are gonna love it. You are absolutely gonna love it. It's marvelous. It smells incredible. The almond oatmeal or oatmeal almond one as well is definitely my favorite, but these hand soaps have such an intense fragrance. They are just, they're just so nice. So I grabbed one of them and I am definitely on the lookout for some more because that's just a hit for me, and I'm really happy that I got to have that one. Now, last but not least, while we're almost wrapping up this haul right here, I did pick up a couple of books for my mom. She loves books like this, so I grabbed this one, and this is What the Heart Wants. And it's just, what a beautiful, beautiful cover right there. This book originally went for Let Me See... I wish these, I feel like these stickers on the back of the books are getting thinner almost. So to try to peel them is becoming even more difficult than usual. Um, and I didn't even need to peel it because I'm si silly and sad at, that I just even wasted time doing that because the price was right over here. So this book originally went for $8.99 and it says in the latest novel and 
um, historical saga about America's first Amish settlement. Two devoted sisters forge ahead in a difficult new world, only to find that love is a thrilling discovery of its own. So there's a little bit about this book right here that went originally for $8.99. And then right here, we have this one as well. So even though my mom watches my hauls and watches my channel, obviously, and she th sees things before she even gets them, I might save these for Christmas <laughs> to give to her so that she has some books to read over the holidays. So this one right here is an Amish cookie club Christmas. And I think that that is going to be perfect for what I just said. And then, and then let me see. Oh, I did it again. The price is on the side. So this book went for $7.99 outside of the Dollar Tree. It says baking cookies every other Friday for their prospective church districts gives um, Edna and three of her closest friends a chance to give to the plain community and strengthen their bond with each other. So that's just some of the things. And it's just a nice, beautiful book to have for the holidays. So that is it. That is it. And I'm excited to give those to her. And um, I love you guys. I love you guys so much. And thank you for being here with me. And thank you, Keisha, for my fancy, fantastic beautiful earrings that I love so incredibly much. So I wore them today because they are just making me extra happy for Halloween purposes. And hi, if you guys are new here, I'm Callan. I would love it if you'd stick around, stay, like, share, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell notification so that you are aware of every single time I upload a new video. I do Dollar Tree hauls here on this channel on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays, and I am super thankful, grateful, and happy here always with you guys. So I love you all so much. I hope you have the most wonderful, fantastic, amazing, and loved, and blessed, and kind weekend, days, always and forever. I'm going to head out. I'm going to go and get myself all ready for today to head out, do some yard work, get some things together and decorate the outdoors. And I'm really happy about it. I hope that you guys have a wonderful one. I can't wait to see you again on happy Monday Dollar Tree haul. And I love all of your faces so incredibly much. So that's it. And I will see you in a few days, guys. Bye.